Hi guys! Welcome to Engineer's Talk. This is Engineer Eli Salut and today we're going to answer one of the questions na nareceive natin sa ating inbox coming from one of our followers. So, ito yung question niya. Good evening po. I hope you are doing well. I am reaching out po kasi I have a question about sa grades po na ma-achieve while taking chemical engineering course na will a low grades affect the chances of a person on finding a job? I hope you respond. Thank you. Okay, so yan ang pag-uusapin natin ngayon. Will a low grade affect the chances of a person in finding a job? Well, I hope I can give you a simple answer, no? An answer that is as simple as yes or no. There are several factors that can affect the hiring procedure. I will be giving everyone a false hope kapag sinabi kong it doesn't really matter kung mataas o mababa ang grades mo in finding a job. So, merong iba't ibang hiring procedure ang bawat company. And I cannot tell you that they will not be looking at your grades and base their evaluation sa performance mo during your school years. Now, in order not to misunderstood yung mga sinasabi ko, I would suggest to please watch the whole video para maintindihan ninyo, is it necessary to have a really high grade? And if you don't have a high grade, then what can you do in order to still compete dun sa mga makakasabay mong applicant. Well, before anything else, gusto kong sabihin that this will be a case-to-case -case basis. And other people will have different opinions. So, on this case, I'm just sharing to you according to my experience and to those that I observe sa iba't ibang company on their hiring process. First, let us imagine you will be applying for a job. So, ang una mong gagawin is to submit your resume or your CV, no? your curriculum vitae. So, imagine, ano ba yung mga isusulat mo sa resume mo if you are a fresh graduate? And what will be the expectation ng yung interviewer sa'yo? Knowing that you are a fresh graduate. So, tingnan natin kung ano yung may susulat mo sa yung resume or sa yung CV and what will be the expectation of the hiring personnel. So, Siyempre, dahil wala ka pa masyadong experience, you are fresh graduate, magsisimula tayo sa school performance. So, you will be showing your engineering license kung nakapasa ka na ng board exam or else your engineering diploma uh, to prove that you graduated an engineering course. And after that, you will be showing your transcript of records at iba't iba pang documents na pwede mong isubmit to prove that you are an engineer or you're a graduate of an engineering course. So, base pa lang dito, nakikita mo na, no? ito yung magiging batayan ng uh, interviewer mo kasi you do not have much to offer dahil bagong graduate ka pa lang. So, ito yung mga records na titignan nila kung ano yung isasubmit mo. And another thing na titignan nila is your character. Gusto nilang makita kung what kind of a person you are or how are you going to work under pressure. Okay, so they will be expecting to see that in your resume or in your interview. And of course, isa sa magiging malaking deciding factor for your employment sa ina-applyan mong kumpanya is yung performance mo during interview or exam. Usually kasi meron mo ng exam and then kapag nakapasa ka doon, they will call you for an interview. So it means kapag ka nag apply ka, dapat prepared ka for the interview. No? So ito yung mga makikita nila sa resume mo at ito rin yung magiging expectation nila dahil you are a fresh graduate at wala ka namang maisulat na experience sa yung resume or sa yung CV. So, of course, with these references, titignan nila kung paano ka nag-perform sa school. So, hindi mo maaalis na talagang titignan nila yung grades mo. And kapag meron kang kasabay na merong mas mataas na grades, probably they will have an advantage over you. Now, as I said before, iba-iba yung hiring procedure ng bawat company. Merong mga kumpanya, in fact, na hindi naman tinitignan yung grades but they will look at how you are going to perform. In fact, there are companies now na mas interested silang makita yung talagang skills mo o yung talagang knowledge mo rather than yung mga grades na nakikita nila sa iyong mga documents. But of course, you cannot take that away. No? Kahanapin talaga nila yung proof or yung evidences na magpapatunay kung anong performance mo sa school during your college days. So, let me give you an example. After I passed the board exam, syempre, maghahanap ako ng trabaho. 
one of the company na apply ko is a Japanese company. And first, I had an exam. Then after that, an interview with the production manager. Then after that, I got an interview with a Japanese and the hiring manager. No? So, they look at my resume. And of course, dahil bagong graduate ako, lahat ng itatanong nila is base sa nakasulat sa resume ko. So, ano ba yung mga pwede kong isulat sa resume ko? I graduated chemical engineering and then isusulat ko rin kung ano yung ginawa naming thesis or kung ano yung ginawa naming plant design. Okay, para maipakita sa mga employer that this kind of study is conducted during your college time kasama ng mga groupmates mo. No? And to my surprise, ganito yung naging takbo ng aking interview. They told me, okay, sa likod mo, there is a big white board. And then they told me to draw the whole plant design na ginawa namin during our college days and explain each process. Yan actually yung naging requirement sa akin nung Japanese na nag-interview sa akin. So what does it mean? Yung mga sinulat mo sa resume mo will be the only reference ng interviewer mo. At dahil bagong graduate ka, of course, isusulat mo dyan yung mga accomplishments mo at yung mga activities or mga projects or designs na ginawa nyo during your college days. So, doon tatakbo yung discussion nyo during your interview. So, malaking factor talaga yung performance mo sa school kapag ka nag apply ka ng trabaho right after you pass the board exam or after you graduate. Now, ibang usapan na when you already have a work experience, lalo na kapag mahaba na yung work experience mo, Dahil maraming kumpanya ang hindi na masyadong magbabase sa grades mo. O kung magbabase man sila, it will not be that much. Dahil ang importante na sa kanila is yung work experience mo. Okay? They want to know your employment record. Saan-saan ka na nagtrabaho, gaano katagal, ano-ano na yung mga pinagdaanan mong trabaho. Para ma-measure nila kung ano na yung knowledge and skills mo. So, they will try to look at your accomplishments or kung ano yung mga natutunan mo doon sa mga previous works na pinasukan mo. And then, they are going to evaluate your qualification according doon sa vacant position na ina-applyan mo. Kasi gusto nilang makita kung yung expertise mo, kung, kung ikaw ba ay fit dito sa position na ina-applyan mo, ikaw ba yung taong hinahanap nila. And then, they will ask you for your salary expectation kasi baka masyadong mataas yung inihingi mong sweldo or yung sweldo ng inihingi mo is not within the budget for that particular position. And marami pa ang pwedeng tanungin depending sa experiences mo right after you graduate kasi marami ka nang napasukan trabaho. So, nakikita ninyo yung pagkakaiba. No? Kapag fresh graduate ka, they will be asking you more tungkol sa grades mo, how did you perform in school, kasi yan lang yung nakikita nila sa resume mo. So, what will you expect them to ask? Hindi naman nila pwedeng lagpasan lang yung grades mo. Okay, again, Iba't ibang kumpanya, meron silang iba't ibang policy or hiring process. Hindi lahat ganito yung procedure. But so far, ito yung mga nakikita ko sa mga companies na napagtanungan ko na or na-encounter ko. Now, paano kung hindi naman ganun kaganda yung grades mo? Ano yung mga pwede mong gawin to still be competitive compared sa mga kasabay mo na mas matataas ang grade kesa sa'yo? So, let us discuss what can you do as a student to increase your chance of getting a job in the future. So, take note, ang sinulat ko dito is as a student. So, gagawin mo to habang estudyante ka pa. Para kahit hindi ganun kaganda yung grade mo, you will still be competitive no? kapag nag-apply ka ng trabaho. One thing that you need to remember when you are applying for a job is that it is not just about you. Okay? So, kapag nag apply ka, ang nakikita mo lang kasi madalas is yung sarili mo eh. Like, nag apply ka to have a job para magkaroon ka ng sweldo or para magkaroon ka ng stable na mapagkakakitaan. Pero ang hindi mo nare-realize that on the other side, the company is hiring because they need your service. So this is not just about you. It is not just about you getting a job, but this is also about the company who needs your service. So ano yung titignan ng company sa'yo? kapag ka ikaw ay nag apply sa kanilang company, they would like to see if you will add value to their company. Ano ba yung makokontribute mo? Ano ba yung maitutulong mo sa kumpanya? So, dito papasok yung it is more than just your grades. 
gusto nilang makita ngayon na how are you going to perform. So, iisa-isahin natin kung ano yung mga possible na pwede mong gawin. And these are the things na pwede mong idagdag sa resume mo. Kasi, pag bagong graduate ka, katulad nung pinakita natin kanina, no, ang isusulat mo lang naman is mostly yung grades mo, your transcript of records, yung mga records mo sa school, no, yun ang may isusulat mo. But, there are other things na pwede mong idagdag. But you need to work on that while you're still a student. For example, you can develop other skills. Okay, so ang skills na pinag-uusapan natin dito are those skills na magiging relevant sa course mo. Okay, so I would suggest several skills na pwede mong i-develop. Okay, so this is just a suggestion. No? Pwede mo itong gawin or you can look for other skills as simple as mastering itong Google Apps. Well, this includes na rin yung mga Microsoft Office applications like Gmail, okay, uh, Google Drive, uh, Google Forms, Google Sheets, PowerPoint. So, yung mga apps na yan, pwede mong i-develop, pwede mo siyang i-improve to have competitive advantage. And believe me, when I applied in Middle East, I have seen engineers na nag-apply in a company and they don't even know how to use Microsoft Excel, which is a disappointment, no? Kasi pagpasok mo sa trabaho, they expect to train you doon sa trabaho mo sa factory. But what happens is that they are going to teach you Microsoft Excel first, no? They are going to teach you Microsoft Program. So, it will be a minus point for you. Na-hire ka nga, but they, most likely they will not like your performance. So, you will not be adding value to the company. Now, you can study other programs like, for example, MATLAB. Pwede ka rin mag-aral ng Aspen, HiSys, and pwede ka rin mag-aral ng AutoCAD. Or kung sinisipag ka, pwede kang mag-aral ng programming languages katulad ng Python, JavaScript, no? Pwede ka mag-aral niyan if you have more time. So, the point here is to develop more skills. At hindi lang yan, skills na yan ang pwede mong i-develop. You can develop your communication skills. You can develop your sales skills, no? Pwede mong i-develop yung mga skills na yan na magagamit mo once you graduate sa yung engineering course. Another thing na pwede mong gawin is to prepare by studying possible jobs. So, pag-aralan mo ano-ano bang mga jobs ang pwede mong makuha once you graduate to that engineering course. So, may kita mo, whatever field of engineering uh, you are studying right now. So, for example, in chemical engineering, nakita mo, ah, pwede pala ako magtrabaho as quality control engineer, pwede pala ako magtrabaho as production engineer, pwede pala ako magtrabaho as safety engineer. So, yung mga position na yon, pag-aralan mo. Pag napag-aralan mo na, makikita mo anong skills ang kailangan mong i-develop para mas maging competitive ka kapag nag apply ka na sa ganyang position. Because maaring sa mga estudyante ngayon ang iniisip, if you're chemical engineer, you're going to apply strictly chemical engineering or chemical engineer position. No? Nag nasa factory ka, it can be a process engineer, you know, it can be a quality control engineer. So yung mga position na yon, they have expertise in different fields ng manufacturing. So mas maganda alam mo yon nagkakaroon ka na ng idea how those work or positions function. Mas maganda na alam mo yon para mas maging competitive ka na. So, kahit sa interview pa lang, you can answer the question based sa position na ina-applyan mo. Another thing is, if you can, try to get part-time jobs. And when I say part-time jobs, ito yung mga jobs na relevant sa course na kinuha mo. Okay, so yung iba nagpa-part-time dahil kailangan nila ng matustusan yung kanilang hanap buhay or additional income. So, that's a different story, no? So, nagtatrabaho sila para matustusan yung pag-aaral nila. But if you don't need that, okay? So, if you're a well-to-do na kapag aral ka naman, meron ka namang tuition fee na nakukuha, no? May pampaaral ka. You can also spend your time taking a job, o kaya part-time job, that will be beneficial kapag nagtapos ka na ng engineering course. For example, you can be a tutor or you can uh, work on a manufacturing company as part-time or a laboratory assistant, for example. Okay, so kahit na bagong graduate ka, you can cite that you already have a work experience. Kasi it is normal na kapag graduate ka, wala kang work experience. But if you already work kahit mababang position, part-time lang, 
you can pinpoint that in your resume or in your CV that you already work on this particular position sa ganitong kumpanya. So, they will know that you are already aware how processing function, no? how manufacturing companies functions. So, if you have time, you can do this para magkaroon ka agad ng work experience kahit hindi ka pa graduate. And another thing na pwede mong gawin is to attend seminars, exposition, at yung mga iba pang katulad nito. Okay, so attending seminars will increase your knowledge about different um, courses or different subjects about engineering. So, kung aaten ka dyan, meron niyang binibigay ng mga certificates na pwede mong ring idagdag sa yung resume or sa yung CV kapag nag apply ka na. But more to that is maintindihan mo na kagad ngayon pa lang bilang estudyante yung mga bagay na kailangan mong malaman kapag ka nagtatrabaho ka na. So, the earlier you know these things is the better for you. So, isa sa pwede kong i-recommend is to study or attend seminars for ISO certification. We have ISO 9001, we have ISO 14001. Okay, so you can attend all these ISO certification um, seminars para alam mo na kagad, meron ka nang maipapakitang diploma na nagpapatunay na naiintindihan mo how ISO certification works. And also, you can also enroll for Six Sigma training courses. No? So, maganda to lalo na if you are going for quality control or manufacturing um, na trabaho in the future. And you can also join relevant organizations. So, um, sumali ka sa mga iba't ibang organization that is going to give you a benefit sa course na kinuha mo in order also to increase your network para mas dumami yung kakilala mo na may kaparehong course mo. And you can also join other organizations. So, the more people you know, the better for you in the future. Okay, you will realize na kapag ka nakagraduate ka na, once you are already in the industry, it will be really important to have a strong network. Okay, yung network na will help you grow professionally and will help you become a better person. Okay, so whenever I receive questions like that, I can feel that the students are afraid. They are thinking na dahil mababa yung grades nila, mahihirapan silang makakuha ng trabaho. Well, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, although many companies will look on your grades, that is not the only factor na titignan nila. You have to prove that you are the one qualified for the position and you will be able to add value to the company. The company will prefer somebody na hindi masyadong mataas yung grade but offers big advantage in terms of performance. They will add value to the company na mas malaki kesa sa may bibigay ng mataas nga yung grade, kulang naman sa skills. So, wag ka dapat matakot. Kahit na mababa yung grades mo, hindi ka dapat mag-alala. Ang kailangan for you is to prepare by developing yung mga skills na magiging useful once you graduate college. After all, it is not just about getting a job, but maintaining your job. So, Take this word from a famous chemical engineer, Marie Curie. Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more so that we may fear less. So I hope nakatulong sa inyo itong ating edition ng Engineer's Talk. Thank you very much and have a nice day.